winter, day or night Between the pages of a book sounds just right Reading's fundamental, a cool thing to do Many different worlds will open to you Come into our nook and grab a book And go where reading takes you where reading is fundamental and fun for the mental. Get it? So it's the holiday season. Thanksgiving is almost here and the kids are out of school. Now is the perfect time for them to pick up books and read, read, read. I've been to the department store and I have this year's holiday doll. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? Speaking of dolls, I'm going to read a short story to you by Isabel Gordon Curtis called Who Ate the Dolly's Dinner? But before we get started, I'm going to go over a word that's in the story that you may not know the meaning of. Piazza. A piazza is nothing more than a front porch where you can sit in the summertime in your rocking chairs and drink delicious sweet tea and sweet lemonade. Let's get started. Why can't dollies have a Thanksgiving dinner as well as real folks? Asked Polly Pine. I don't know why, <laughs> said Mama laughing. Go and dress them in their best clothes. Get the doll's house swept and dusted and the table ready. Then I'll fix their dinner before we go downstairs. Oh, how nice, said Polly Pine. The dollhouse stood in the nursery. It was very big and very beautiful. It was painted red. It had tall chimneys and a fine front door. There were lace curtains at the windows and two steps led up to the cutest little piazza. Polly Pine swept the rooms with her tiny broom and dusted them. Then she set the table in the dining room with the very best dishes and the finest silver. She set a teeny vase in the middle of each table with two violets in it, and she put dolly napkins at each place. When the house was all nice and clean, she dressed Lavinia in her pink muslin, and Dora Jane in her gray velvet, and Hannah Welch in her yellow silk. Then she seated them around the table, each one in her own chair. Polly was just telling them about company manners, how they must not eat with their knives, or leave their teaspoons in their cups when they drink their tea. When the door opened and in came Mama with the real doll's Thanksgiving dinner. There was a chicken bone to put on the platter before Hannah Welch, for Hannah always did the carving. There were yummy little dishes of mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce and some celery and a tiny tumbler and the smallest pumpkin pie baked in a patty pan. Polly Pine just hopped up and down with delight when she saw it. She set everything on the table. Then she ran away to put on her nicest muslin frock with pink ribbons. And she went downstairs to her own dinner. One of Polly's uncles who came to dinner could change his table napkin into a white rabbit. And she forgot all about the doll's Thanksgiving dinner until it was dessert time and the nuts and raisins came in. Then Polly remembered, and she jumped down from her chair and asked Mama if she might go upstairs and see if the dolls had eaten their dinner. When Mama told everyone about the dollhouse Thanksgiving, all the family wanted to go too, to find out if the dolls had enjoyed their dinner. The front door of the dollhouse was open, and there sat the dolls, just as their little mistress had left them. Only they had eaten nearly all the dinner. Everything was gone except the potatoes and the cranberry sauce. 
The chicken leg was picked bare, the bread was nibbled, and the little pie was eaten all around. Well, this is funny, said Papa. Just then, they heard a funny, scratching noise in the dollhouse, and a little gray mouse jumped out from under the table. He ran out the front door of the dollhouse and over the piazza and down the steps before you could say Jack Robinson. In a minute, he was gone. Nobody knew where. There was another tiny mouse in the dollhouse under the sofa and a third one under Lavinia's bed with a poor, frightened, gray tail sticking out. They all got away safe. Papa would not allow Mama to go for the cat. He said, why can't a poor little mouse have a Thanksgiving dinner as well as we? Why not indeed? Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And remember, when you have nothing else to do, pick up a book and go where reading takes you. See you next time. Bye.